um, what is the role that young leaders will play in the church? Well, I think young leaders uh, are, are so critical to what God's going to be doing in the next generation, obviously, uh, but also in the global church. And, and here's, uh, I've been studying a lot about young leaders and recognizing the fact that um, if you look through, through history and, and even through scripture, God seems to have a special place for the role of young leaders because they're willing to take risks that no one else is willing to take. They're not about protecting the institutions or the, the, the things that have been you know, sort of built up by the past. I mean, Jesus uses this whole analogy of new wineskins, and he says that you don't put new wine in old wineskins. And I think that's very similar to where we're at in the church today, that we've got all these organizations and institutions and infrastructure. I mean, America has maybe the most developed spiritual infrastructure of any country, of any human civilization ever. We've got more publishers, more organizations, more institutions, more churches, more schools. I mean, all these Christian things that are now really... Not that they're bad or doing bad work, but they're 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 starting to look like look like and feel like old wineskins, uh, and they can be refreshed, they can be redone, they can be rebuilt. But that's going to be the role of young leaders is actually taking and creating uh, the, the ways in which these organizations can transfer into the future. They're going to be creating new movements, creating new ways of, of talking about the gospel, about Jesus' work uh, 2,000 years ago, and his continued work in our lives today. And so I couldn't be more excited about what young leaders are doing. In fact, that's part of my own, I think, personal mission at Barna Group is to study young leaders, to understand what motivates them, to help give them the courage, the backing, the humility uh, to do what they need to do, and also to tell them that you can still do all of this stuff while being loyal to people around you, to older leaders. You, mm -hmm. you, you can't just reinvent everything and go out on your own, chart your own path, and expect God to bless you when you sort of burned all the bridges behind you. I mean, David, King David, before he becomes king, he refuses to take the reins of leadership from Saul, even though it's clear that he could. And it, it's very obvious militarily, uh, spiritually, uh, in terms of the anointing. He's already been you know, given sort of the reins to be the leader, but he doesn't do that. He, he, he waits for God's timing, and in that process, he's actually changed as a leader. So he's courageous. He does what God calls him to do, but, but he's still very loyal in a certain way uh, to the leaders that go before him, and because of that, God changes him into a different and better leader. So that would be my, my piece of advice for young leaders if you're watching this, but couldn't be more excited about what God's doing through young leaders today and what that will mean for the future church. Thanks, Dave.